Imagine having access to a secret weapon that can effortlessly make you more money, increase your sales and skyrocket your dropshipping profits overnight all without having to do the work yourself. Well, that secret is ChatGPT. Now, unless you've been under a rock for the past year, you probably already know what it does, but 99% of people are not leveraging it to its true capacity. Think of it as having a world-class copywriter, researcher and strategist all in one at your fingertips 24 seven. Now that probably sounds great. However, the truth is the outputs are only as good as the inputs. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you six different ways that you can use chat GPT to drastically skyrocket your dropshipping sales. I'm going to reveal all of the tips, tricks and prompts that you need. Plus, if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show you how you can get complete free access to all of the prompts that I use in this video. So grab a pen and paper and let's get started. So before I reveal exactly how you can leverage chat GPT to its maximum capacity, firstly, what is chat GPT? It's basically an AI language model. And when you ask it a question, it will reply with human like responses based on the information that it has access to. You can ask it pretty much any question that you want and it will reply with an answer, which is pretty cool. The older version, ChatGPT 3.5 was pretty good, but what's even better is ChatGPT 4. Without going into all of the technical details in simple terms, it's better, it's more accurate and much more sophisticated. And it's going to revolutionize the way you do dropshipping. Let me show you how. So this is what I'm gonna cover in this video. I'm gonna show you how you can skyrocket your dropshipping profits in five days using ChatGPT. And again, if you want access to this free course, stick around to the end. I'm gonna cover all of these from how to build a shop store using chat GPT, product research, Facebook ads, email marketing, copywriting, and so much more. Now, the first thing you need to understand because chat GPT is revolutionary, but if you feed it rubbish, okay, it will give you rubbish. So in order to get better outputs, you must give it better inputs. So how do we do that? Well, we use something called modifiers. So here are the different modifiers that people can use to get the best out of it when you're using the AI. Things such as word limiting and controlling the length of the response that ChatGPT gives us. We can also do things such as the style of writing and direct it to actually give us a response in a specific style. One thing that I personally like to use, and I'll show you an example in a moment, is getting it to emulate a specific type of person, job role, or persona. We can also get it to give us back the information in a specific type of structure. Say, for example, if you want bullet points, numbers, list, or a certain amount of paragraphs. Another cool thing is giving it emotion. So asking them to reply back to us in a certain type of emotion such as excitement, curiosity, or trust. And the final one, such as context, giving the actual AI context of what it is we're trying to achieve to have the AI better understand the type of response that they should give us. So inside of ChatGPT, I said, I'm selling a indestructible dog toy that dogs can play with without tearing apart. Write me a hundred word product description. So here's the response that it's gave us. Now this is good, but this isn't something that you would actually use on your Shopify store because it's not gonna convert any visitors into buyers. Now we can actually take this a step further by like I said, getting ChatGPT to emulate a specific persona. So let me show you how to do that. So you can see the prompt that I've gave it is, you are now a world-class direct response copywriter emulating Eugene Swartz, Gary Halbert, and Dan S. Kennedy. Write me a product description using a hundred words, but break it up in their writing style, call out the problem and provide the solution. Again, only emulating those great copywriters. And you can see here, I'm not going to go over it in full, but you can see that it gave us a much better direct response product description that we could use, or at least tweak and use on our Shopify store that will turn more visitors into buyers. So you can see how you can use modifiers to unleash the true capabilities of ChatGPT. And now that we understand how to use modifiers, we can actually then move on to the good stuff in terms of building our own Shopify store. So let's get into that part. So how can we use ChatGPT to build us a Shopify store? Well, it isn't going to magically just build a store for us. However, we can utilize it to get ideas to build our brand out. So for example, we could use one such as my store sales products in the something niche, give me 10 catchy brand names that I can call my store. They only need to be one to three words long. You can make up a word or abbreviate it, but they must be related to the niche. If we run that in ChatGPT, you can see it's gave us some decent examples. We've got Porsum Palace, Whisker Wonderland, 
tail wag treasures, pet craze corner, perfect picks. Some of them are okay. Now, all of these aren't going to be available on GoDaddy or as a domain that you can actually go ahead and purchase. But what you can do is make some changes to it. For example, add in a sub word at the start, such as my porcelain palace or the porcelain palace and find yourself a really good catchy domain name that you can use for your brand. Now, another cool prompt that you can use for your dropshipping store when building out your brand is asking it, what colors could you use for your brand niche? For example, I've put in here, my brand is in a dog niche. What color scheme would I use on my store? Please also provide me with the hex color. So getting a specific hex color that you can use. And you can see here, it's blasted out an actual palette for us, giving us the primary color, secondary color, and accent colors as well. Now, if you go to Google and just type in any hex color on any program, such as Photoshop, Canva, or whatever it may be, you'll be able to see those colors as well. And you can build your store around these brand colors if you like them, of course, you can always get them to suggest you more if you don't like the colors that it has suggested. Now, you may be wondering why isn't there any product description prompts in the Shopify store build? Well, the reason is, is because like I've showed you previously, it's just very generic, but I'm gonna show you a very powerful way later in this video to actually develop high converting copy that will turn more visitors into buyers. But first, let's move on using ChatGPT to try and help us with product research for our dropshipping store. Now, I'm gonna be completely transparent with you. ChatGPT GPT won't go out and explicitly find you a winning product, unfortunately. You still have to do some manual work. However, it will give you some ideas that you can use to go out and find winning products for yourself. And these are all the prompts that I like to use for that reason. For example, I have an e-commerce dropshipping store. What are the best products to sell during each season? You can also refine that and say, I have a dropshipping store in a certain niche. What are the best products to sell during each season? Here's another one. Identify five trending products in the whatever niche you're selling in with high demand, low competition based on current market data. So you can see I've took that prompt and I've put it into AI. Now, however, it doesn't have access to real-time market data. However, it can suggest stuff up to September, 2022. And here are some of the results that it's got. Eco-friendly pet products. We've got smart pet feeders, customizable pet ID tags, anxiety reducing pet beds, which we all know have absolutely just blown up everywhere. And of course we have another one, which was pretty cool and something that I would actually explore myself is interactive puzzle toys. If we head to AliExpress and type in the words interactive puzzle toys, we can see we've got these options here. Now I know that this product here is something that has been selling and I've seen it sold by other dropshippers already, but these other examples that we've seen here, we can see here that this has got 500 plus orders on it. We can see that this one's got 500 plus orders on as well. And providing that we could actually find some content for this product, we could potentially stumble upon something which is an untapped product that no one else is selling by utilizing ChatGPT in a simple prompt. So far, we've used ChatGPT to help us build our Shopify store to come up with a brand name and also a theme for the store. We then used ChatGPT to give us some product ideas, winning dropshipping products that we can use on our store. Next, we need to come up with a product description for our product so that we can put it on our store and turn visitors into buyers. So in order to do that, we need to do our customer research first and find out who is actually going to purchase this product. That way we can supercharge our copywriting and also improve our product page. So these are the prompts that I like to use to dig deep into the customer of who's going to be purchasing this product. Because if we can understand what the customer is going to be thinking about and what annoys them and their emotions, we can use those to supercharge our copywriting. So some examples of prompts, I'm selling product name here. It helps people with whatever the main benefit is. What type of person is most likely to buy this? Another one that I like to use is what are the daily struggles, problems, issues that a person would be facing that this product would solve? What frustrates them, annoys them, and worries them? Another one, again, what are the hopes and dreams of the person who would buy this product and what is their desired outcome? So let's run these and some of them inside of ChatGPT. So here you can see I've put, I'm selling an indestructible dog toy. It helps stop dogs wrecking the whole house, uh, keeps them entertained. What person is most likely to buy this? Now we've got some personas here. We've got dog owners, okay, obviously. We've got busy lifestyle people. We've got first time dog owners. Again, is something that we could use in our copywriting. We've got urban dwellers. We've got budget conscious buyers as well and environmentally conscious consumers who ChatGPT says buyers who are concerned with the amount environmental impact of the regular discarding of products all and over again. So essentially an angle that you could use is you buy one product is completely going to last you a lifetime because it's indestructible and you're going to be saving up. That's a certain type of angle that we could use for our Facebook ads or inside of our ad copy. So the other one that I asked was what are the daily struggles and problems and issues
choose a person who would buy this product and what are the frustrations and things that would just get them on their nerves and we could use these emotional cues in our ad copy so they put frequent toy replacements if you're a dog owner and you have to buy toys all the time I can assume that that's only going to just get on your nerves another one such as boredom induced destruction we've got separation anxiety which I know is a big thing for dog owners another one that we've got over guilt of not providing enough stimulation for your dog again that's another emotional thing that we can tie into on our product descriptions we've got high energy dogs and also again at the end that environmental concerns as well these are all angles that we can use to tap into we don't have to use all of them but we can utilize these in our ad copies to help us get a higher conversion rate the great thing about using chat gpt is we can go extremely deep into customer research and once you understand who it is who is going to be purchasing your product the better your product descriptions are going to be but now that we've done that let's show you how you can do your copywriting and come up with a product description when it comes to putting together a high converting product description you need two things first and foremost you need great headlines and second of all you need really good copy so these are some prompts that you can use for both headlines and also for copy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some of these inside of chat GPT just to show you how well they actually perform so the first thing is asking chat GPT what are the main benefit points of this product that we are selling and you can see here it's came across with the durability cost effective mental stimulation reduced destructive behavior anxiety relief promotes healthy chewing habits suitable for all dogs and sizes and breeds and obviously environmentally friendly as well these are just some specific points that we can use first and foremost we're going to then expand upon these and use chat gpt with specific prompts to help get us to a point where we can actually use it for a product description so I asked ChatGPT, write me five headlines for my indestructible dog toy, which follows this specific format. And you can see some of the results are extremely impressive because we've gave it specific directions that we want it to take. So for example, some of these headlines, we can use them to capture the attention of the reader and get them to read the rest of our copy. So to give you some example, how to keep your dog entertained for hours without constant toy replacements, even if they're an aggressive chewer. Or how about how to maintain a tidy home in just one week without sacrificing your dog's playtime even if they've destroyed every toy before well how about this one how to reduce your dog's destructive behavior in just 10 days without spending a fortune on toys even if nothing else has worked now that we have some headlines and also the benefit points of the product itself we can break those benefit points down a step further by asking a prompt such as this using the problem agitate solution framework write me a three or four sentence paragraph on reduced destructive behavior because that was one of the benefit points make it direct personal and triggering a emotional response ask the question as a hook and you can see here it said are you tired of coming home to your house that looks like a war zone with belongings chewed up and scattered everywhere the constant stress and frustration of dealing with dogs destructive behavior can be overwhelming leaving you feeling helpless and desperate for a solution our indestructible dog toy is the answer that you've been searching for specifically designed for withstanding even the most aggressive chewers and it goes on to mention here's a solution here you can buy it this is very powerful stuff and chat GPT is powerful if you know how to use it and using the right prompts so far we've used chat GPT on this dropshipping journey to help us build a Shopify store to help us find and give us ideas for products that we can sell help us do some customer research and also help us build out a high converting product landing page now what we need to do is run some ads so how can we use chat GPT to give us some high converting Facebook ads there's a number of ways that we can use chat GPT for our our Facebook ads and you can use it for TikTok ads as well I just use Facebook ads so I'm going to show you how to do it in this video there's three things you can use it for ideation which most of the time if you've already done your customer research then you can use those as well in here also Facebook ad copy you can use it for and also Facebook video prompts as well and I'm going to run some of these inside of chat GPT so you can see how powerful that they are one cool thing that you can do with chat GPT is if you know of a brand that is absolutely crushing it with Facebook ads and their ad copy what you can do is you can go onto Facebook ads library and take something like this, copy it, put it into chat GPT and ask them to give you copy based on this structure, but on the product that you are selling. So what I've done is I've just said, I'm going to give you some ad copies and I want you to analyze the structure of it and format. And then I want you to give me something similar to that based on the product that I am selling. And down here, what you can see is it's actually gave me an analysis and this gave me a version that I can use for my dog indestructible dog toy, which is 
fantastic. So what I've asked ChatGPT is write me five Facebook ad copies that use the following structure. And this is a structure that I love to use. It's the one that I teach all of my students and it's the ABC system, which is essentially attention, first and foremost, benefit points, and then a call to action. But I've also specified here, I want each different attention hook to have a different variation, such as a question, a statement, a fact, numbers, and a testimonial from a person in first person. And you can see what it's done here is it's just literally went out and designed all of my ad copies that I could split test. And some of these are really, really good. For example, we've got, you know, did you know that most dog toys are not designed for heavy chewers? And if you're a dog owner, that's gonna stop you in your tracks. And then we've got the question one, which is I really like to use, which is tired of constantly replacing your dog's destroyed toys. Now you can make variations of these. You can expand upon them. You can subtract from them if you wanted to. But overall, this is gonna help and speed up your workflow 10X. Now at this point, you pretty much have everything that you need to launch your own successful for a dropshipping store. However, there are some cool hacks and tips that you can use to take it to the next level. So let me show you those. Another cool hack that you can use for your dropshipping store and helping you increase your average order value is asking ChatGPT to come up with upsell ideas that you can use for your product. Doing this is gonna allow you to increase your average order value so that you can spend more money to acquire a customer. If you can't think of any ideas, then this is a cool thing to do. So we've got here like a canine cool map. We've got also an unbreakable bowl we've got things such as a dental kit other things such as a blanket and a mighty muzzle some of these are not all going to be applicable but it's always good to then go on aliexpress and try and see if you can find a product like this at a decent price that makes sense to use it as an upsell so there are two bonus ways on how you can use chat gpt for your drop shipping stores and that's with email marketing so that you can use this to print more revenue using campaigns and flows and the second way that you can use it is utilizing customer service prompts as well so you can hand this over to your VAs or if you don't want to spend hours just typing out responses to customers you can use this for yourself. Now I'm not going to go into detail of those two in this video because you can check those out in your own time when you get access to this free course and also a lot of you guys only really need to focus on those first things that I've mentioned to help you get those first sales. It's only once you start making sales and getting traction then you need to think about your email marketing and optimizing your customer service backend. So as promised if you want access to the free course with all of the prompts that I I've put in this video so that you can just copy and paste them over drop a like on this video and comment down below chat gpt drop shipping and when this video hits 220 likes then it will be in the pinned comment down below make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming content i am trying to hit 100,000 subscribers this year so help your boy out and hit that goal and smash that subscribe button if you want me to personally help you start and scale your own drop shipping store then book a call down below we'll see if you're a good fit for my mentorship program but that is it for this video take care and i'll see you in the next one